Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna make some bloody hand prints. This is something super cool that I had to show you for Halloween because it looks kind of creepy and it just uses some goldenrod paper, a little ammonia solution. It looks like blood. We can spray it on our hand and put a bloody handprint on the paper and that's just creepy. We can even make some secret messages with just a little crown. But now it's over. Ah, oh, you get. Hang on. Got it. Just, just a little crown. See, I made you a little message. I, I wrote a. I wrote a note to. Oh, you you can't see it. Hold on. Check this out. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Boom. You can even paint some cool messages on with a little paintbrush. I'm okay. Ugh, I wonder if that stuff's bad for you. Is that, is ammonia, hang on a sec, is ammonia bad? Hang on. Is ammonia bad for you? Here's what I found on the web for is ammonia bad oh, for you. Come on Siri, now I gotta read. Ah. I also detect ammonia, you probably smell it. Yeah, oh you smell it, definitely you smell it. A uh, strong colorless gas dissolved in water. Ammonia poisoning, oh crap. Strong colorless gas dissolved in water. It's called liquid ammonia. That's the stuff we're using here. Uh, poisoning may occur if you breathe in ammonia. Don't breathe it. Just, just don't breathe it. Poisoning may also occur if you swallow or touch products that contain very... Oh, jeez. Altered mental state. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. Uh, severe stomach pain, vomiting. Poison control or the emergency anyway i don't think it's that bad like seriously if you're just using household ammonia and you know if you don't do this like every single day you'd probably be okay if it's just like a once in a while kind of thing it's you're probably fine right i mean people clean with ammonia all the time they come into contact with it it gets on their skin they're breathing the vapors and you know we've been using this stuff for well decades so it's fine right i'm pretty sure that it's okay. We're gonna not worry about it because like I said, this stuff isn't really that strong. It's not like using pure ammonium hydroxide or something like that, which by the way, ammonium hydroxide, you can smell from across the room. Um, I've even had people come from other classrooms at our school into my room and go, what in the world are you doing? Cause it stinks. It smells like cat. Pee. 
and really it does. It smells like somebody's got way too many cats in their house. So how does it work? What causes this and why is this even a thing that we can turn regular ordinary goldenrod paper into some pretty interesting looking stuff? I mean, what, what really causes it to turn red when it comes into contact with ammonia? Hmm. Well, the secret to it is this. It's, um, well, it's got an acid base indicator built into the paper. Really, it's kind of like litmus paper. I, I don't know if you remember from high school chemistry or not. Uh, litmus paper turns a color based on whether it's in contact with an acid or a base. Ammonia is a base. So what we do know about goldenrod paper is that it is sensitive to a base. So there are molecules inside of the paper that react with the base to produce this red color. I think that's pretty cool. And it really kind of looks bloody, so slapping it on your hand and smacking your hand on the paper it looks like a bloody handprint. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button down there. Don't forget to uh, leave a little comment. Let me know what you guys think or what you want to see in the future. I'd love to do some crazy cool things that you're interested in seeing. Oh, and uh, if you didn't see last week's video, I'll, I'll put a link right up here. It got pretty bloody. You, you should go check it out. And uh, make sure you click that little subscribe button down in the corner over here. Aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.